Welcome back to Joellen's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making chicken croquettes. And what I've done was roasted some chicken breasts ahead of time and they've been cooling a little bit. But we've, what we've got to do is simply pull it apart, shred it if you will. We need about two cups of chicken for our croquettes. Make some room so we can shred the other one. My cutting board here is not very big. We're going to add a can of cream of chicken soup. Six ounces of stuffing uh, in a box that's already flavored. Oh, I just lost my egg. Oh no, we're gonna have to get another one. One large egg. We're going to do a half teaspoon of onion salt or onion powder, as you want to say. A quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And one teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. Simply want to make sure this is mixed together thoroughly. And when we're done, we're going to refrigerate it for at least three hours. If indeed you can leave it sit overnight by starting on this the day before, that's even better. But it needs to get good and cold so we can shape it a bit into a cone when we're done. So that we can roll them, roll the uh, croquettes in a bread seasoning. Then we can either fry them in corn oil or we can bake them in the oven. So today, uh, at this time, this is the end of what we're doing because it does need refrigerated, as I said. And we will be back to you as soon as I'm able to complete the process. Kind of a, a nice meal that you can prepare in advance and just fry it up at the appropriate time. I'm going to cover this with saran wrap to put it in the refrigerator to, to cool it down and let it set up a bit and soak up all the, the moisture into the stuffing, etc. Okay, it's all ready for the refrigerator. I'll be back so we can roll them into croquettes and the breading. Thank you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming back. We have our chicken croquette mixture all cooled down. It was in the refrigerator for several hours. And we're going to take about three quarters of a cup in our hand. And we're going to make it into the shape of a cone. Um, best we can, the shape of a cone. So there we have one. and one more so it looks like we're going to get six out of this batch all right it's pretty close so we have them into the cones now what we need to do is get some bread crumbs here and we want to roll the croquettes into the bread crumbs
just like that. And of course they're cooked inside. We just want to make sure that they're warm inside to eat. So it'll cook about 10 to 15 minutes to get it browned on all sides. The other thing we need to do is prepare a topping, which is, oh, again, the cream of chicken soup. And we're having one can of cream of chicken soup that we're going to make a gravy sauce, if you will, for the top. And we put the soup in there, and then we need a can of our milk. Okay, here we go. Add one can of milk, and we're going to mix this up. Now you can heat it up on the stove, but I like to heat my soup in the microwave. I just think it goes so much quicker, and um, I can just not cook it as long. So while we're frying our croquettes at the appropriate time, we will put this soup into the microwave for about three minutes and it should be good and hot and smooth and creamy and ready to pour over our chicken croquettes. We'll be back with some pictures. I hope you enjoy.